Have you ever wondered how lottery winners spend their cash or how many of them invest their winnings? It sounds like a dream come true to win the lottery. Since most lottery winners try to find the ideal balance, life after winning the lotto is rarely simple. A high number of previous lottery winners wasted their winnings and went bankrupt. However, only a small number of smart and wealthy lottery winners made profitable investments and are still wealthy today. So who are the smartest lottery winners? What kind of decisions save their fortunes? Let's get it on. Number 12. Richard Lustig $1 million Just two weeks after the birth of his first kid in 92, he won his first $10,000 jackpot. He utilized the money to pay for medical expenses and make repairs to his home. Ten years later, he won four more lotteries before taking home a record-breaking $842,000 fortune in his fifth lottery victory. To date, his total earnings count to over a million dollars. Although he received a monetary prize worth millions of dollars, the story is far from over. Due to his numerous victories, Richard Lustig was already a well-known figure, and he made use of his notoriety to further his career. He insisted that he knew the lotto-winning formula. He published a book, which he sold for $40 each. It was simple for him to persuade people that he genuinely had a unique plan considering his large number of victories. Of course, his book became a bestseller. Due to his lotto victory, he became significantly wealthier than before. Because he was successful in winning seven times, Richard Lustig is referred to as the uncrowned king of the lottery. Number 11. Mark Brudenel $1.09 million in 1997, Mark Brudenel took home the $1.09 million lottery jackpot. He has a family home with five bedrooms in Stockton-on-Tees, England. He was operating a chemical truck when he became the lotto winner. He oversaw a nearby bakery as well. Four years after winning the lottery, he established a business using most of his riches. For 13 years, Mark and his wife have operated a double glazing company. However, they also treated themselves to a fantastic house and a few gorgeous vehicles, as they ought to. Number 10. Yancey Hicks – $1.3 million When Yancey Hicks won the lottery, he was employed by McDonald's. He was confident he had the skills and boldness necessary to run a fast food restaurant. He put in a request for a subway business. He now has a restaurant of his own, enjoys his work, and earns a reliable living. However, he also spent a good amount of his money on opulent pleasures before making the commitment. But for a lottery winner, that should be expected, right? He ultimately got what he desired. He should be counted among the lotto winners with savvy. Number 9. Sue Herdman – $1.46 million Before winning a lottery prize worth $1.46 million, Sue worked as a hairdresser. Some people prefer standard cars and lavish events over exotic ones. But Sue Herdman was clear about her goals and, well, she achieved them. The wise investor chose to put money into pig farming instead of living a life of luxury. She now owns a pig farm with approximately 7,000 piglets in Northeast England. About 1,000 piglets are born each week, which for her is a vast daily jackpot. Due to the careful use of her lottery winnings, Sue can live a very comfortable life. Number 8. Roy Gibney – $9.1 million for almost 14 years, he lived a happy life off the proceeds of the lottery before growing bored. Roy was, however, wise enough to refrain from using all the cash. He made several real estate investments both domestically and abroad. He also observed the expansion of the metal sheet market and decided to take a chance. He's currently managing a prosperous firm due to his successful investment. Number 7. Peter Lavery $12.3 million After winning a staggering $12.3 million in the Irish Lottery in 1996, Mr. Lavery, a former city bus driver, became Belfast's first millionaire. He used to make less than $250 a month as a bus driver before winning the lottery. His riches were invested in a whiskey distillery and other real estates. By joining forces with Cooley Whiskey Distillery, he increased his whiskey investment and created the Danny Boy brand. Since then, Pete has more than tripled the value value of his prizes and currently owns over 30 houses spread around Northern Ireland. Since then, he's established and raised money for several neighborhood organizations, putting his newfound fortune and status to good use. In honor of his beloved parents, he's also established the Rita and Charles Trust. Number 6. Jason Fry – $47 million Jason Fry had experience digging wells, working in construction, and tending bars. He was a common Florida resident trying to save money for his goal, but fate was on his side when, in 2007, he purchased a winning ticket that netted him $47 million. After celebrating his victory with his pals and living a high life, he made 
several wise investments. Together with a partner, he purchased a Golf World 2 driving range. It typically brings in $300,000 a year in revenue. Fry, however, felt that more was needed and desired to increase the investment of his game, so he bought three more Batteries Plus stores, including one in Fort Myers. He has so far established himself as a household figure in Florida simply through his batteries business and his even more ambitious goals to grow and generate more money. Number 5. Paul and Sue Rosenau $180 million Paul and Sue Rosenau won the $180 million U.S. Powerball jackpot on May 3, 2008. It had been five years since the parents had lost their grandchild to Crab's illness, so their victory was bittersweet. Paul and Sue established the Legacy of Angels Foundation, which is committed to discovering a treatment for the disease with money they had saved. Along with giving their lottery winnings to the organization, Paul and Sue went on vacation to Hawaii and took their kids and grandkids to Disneyland. Number 4. Brad Duke $220 million He was born in the American state of Idaho. Before winning $220 million in the Idaho State Lottery in 2005, he was employed as a manager for Gold Gym in Treasure Valley. He was always a devoted lottery player who devised his strategy for winning the lotto in 2005 when he was 33 years old. He examined the last six months' worth of Powerball results, identified the 15 most often occurring numbers, and then combined them using a wheeling system. Fortunately, his efforts were successful and he took home the $220 million grand prize. But after taking amazing holidays and updating his hobbies, Brad decided to raise the prize money to $1 billion by building a real estate empire and wise investments in low-risk bonds and gas. He gave himself 15 years to complete this. On the other hand, he did the opposite of most lottery winners in that he did not spend all his winnings on himself. Most of it was used to assist others. Only a tiny portion of the money was roughly $2 million has been spent so far by him on himself and his immediate family. His net worth has doubled, so even if he hasn't yet accomplished his goal, he is well on his way there. Number 3. Neil Wanless $232 million Neil Wanless, a cowboy from South Dakota, had no money in 2009. His ranch was in dire need of repair, and he had difficulties paying his property taxes. In South Dakota, 48% of the population are categorized as poor. The bank had taken possession of the family house, so he, his parents, and his brother moved into a camper. Neil went through a difficult time living with his parents and working as a ranch hand. He decided to spend $15 and buy five U.S. Powerball tickets, marking the tickets with the birthdays of his loved ones. Fortunately, he won, and after being awarded the $232 million prize, Neil accepted the lump sum payment of $88.5 million after taxes. He invested his time, money, and effort into the ranch, growing it from 320 acres to 32 square miles, where he lives the cowboy's dream life. Number 2. John and Lisa Robinson $327.8 million John and Lisa Robinson were born and raised in Munford, Tennessee. The couple was one of the three winners of the record-breaking $1.58 billion Powerball jackpot in 2016, which was the largest ever. Before taxes, they earned $327.8 million. It all started when one evening as John was heading home, Lisa called to ask him to pick up some groceries from the neighborhood food mart and purchase some Powerball lottery tickets, letting the computer choose the numbers. They made a splash by appearing on the Today Show and other TV programs because one of their tickets was one of the lucky ones. They made some solid financial decisions, purchased a home with 10 bedrooms and a sizable estate, and lived the good life in relative anonymity. The Robinson family was sure they would not waste their money on unnecessary expenses. When asked what they would like to do with the money, the couple responded that they would first pay off their daughter's education loans and subsequently their mortgage. Number 1. Pearlie Mae Smith $429 million In 2016, a grandmother from New Jersey named Pearlie Mae Smith won the $429 million jackpot in the U.S. Powerball game. She decided to take the $281 million lump amount and divided the money among her seven kids. The $281 million lump sum was agreed to be split among her seven children. They each earned about $35 million, which they invested in their respective congregations, the Smith Family Foundation, and several humanitarian and charitable endeavors. Despite Pearlie Mae Smith's passing in 2022, her family still controls the foundation and supports others who want to feel free and educated. With their affluence, they undoubtedly made the best choices. 
Which among them inspired you the most and why? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more of our luxurious content. And why not click on another video showing now? This is The Luxurious. Talk to you in the next video.